Hey everyone and welcome back, I'm Mr. Stoltz. Every time Wes stands behind a sneaker, Nike or Adidas, we all go crazy about it. And we start researching about how we can go about getting that special shoe. I was one of the lucky ones that was able to get both of the versions of the Yeezy Boost 350, but not the 750. We already know what this video is going to be about, so let's go. The Yeezy Boost 350 comes in a simple cardboard box, nothing special about it. And on the back it says Yeezy on the top, and Boost 350 Yeezy Supply with the Adidas logo underneath. And on the front it reads, it says Yeezy Boost 350, I got in a size 11 and the color is Pirate Black. So let's open it up. So there's nothing really special about the paper itself, but underneath we have the Yeezy Boost 350 Black. This sneaker has a clean silhouette and with either the black one or the turtle dove will fit your wardrobe perfectly. My first impression of this sneaker with Kanye West and Adidas is that less is more and they did a really great job. Let's start with the upper parts of the shoe. It's a one piece prime knit upper with a soft and stretchy material. The upper parts of both of these sneakers are identical. The only difference is the colors. The quality on both of these sneakers feels excellent as it should be with a price point of $200. The patterns on both of these sneakers has some kind of feel to it of camo and the black one has a black base with gray patterns and the turtle dove version has a beige base with darker patterns. So if we turn to the front, the only stitching that we see on this sneaker is the one that goes in the middle part of the shoe that connects the upper primate. Stitching is more subtle on the black version because it's black on black compared to the turtle dove version where you have black stitching on a lighter background. Moving up to the laces, both of them are really well built with a great quality. They are round and has a certain kind of pattern to them. You don't need to use the laces, you can just use the strap on the back and put these ones on. If we turn to the side, there is a patch in the middle that's made out of suede. And in the middle, there's two different kind of logos, one for each shoe. The first one has the Adidas logo. And then the second one has YZY as in Yeezy. The midsole on this sneaker is a little bit wider than the rest of the body. And it goes all the way around it and has these rib lines, except for one part, the front part of the sneaker where it's flat. If we turn to the back, we have a pull strap. And on the black one, it's black with red dots. And on the turtle dove, it's beige with red dots. And I really think that this is a nice and clean feature. And on the back, we have stitching that connects to upper prime knit, just like the front part of the shoe. So let's take a look on the inside of the shoe. There's custom inner soles with Adidas, the Adidas logo, and Yeezy printed on both of these. On the pirate black version, we have gray letters in comparison to the turtle dove version where we have black letters. On the back side of the inner sole, we have the Adidas logo imprinted on the lower parts of the heel. The information label is placed in the front part of the shoe. One thing that's so great about this sneaker is that it feels like a sock. So when you put it on, everything around it grips your foot and it just feels great. So if we take a look underneath, we have these rib lines that goes all the way across the shoe. It says Adidas in the middle part of the shoe with the Adidas logo next to it. This is boost on the heel and we can see the visible boost technology on the lower parts and a little bit on the upper parts of the shoe. So what do you guys think about these sneakers? Are they comfortable to walk around with? Were you able to get the black one or the turtle dove or maybe both? These sneakers are really comfortable, however it takes a few days before they start getting really cozy. The Yeezy Boost 350 is one of my favorite pair of sneakers. It's easy to put on, it's super comfy and it looks really clean. Time for a close-up look at both of these sneakers.
This is what the GC Boost 350 looks like on feet. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. You see this box up here? Click it and subscribe. And leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. On this side, you see the Jordan 1 Rare Air. And on this side, you're gonna see the Adidas Superstar Camo. Thanks for watching. See you next week.